welcome to my channel. This is a quick walkthrough of this fun um, mini album I created. I'm calling her Jackie Lantern. <laughs> this is a Scrap Diva Designs project share that I'm going to do. I used her Jackie Lantern um, girl face. I also used some of her essential um, circle and oval shaped dies. These like number one, I think. Um, and then it has... Um, I also used the new one that is the gingerbread girl face heart shaped die. Oh my gosh, I just love it, you guys. I also used this Happy Haunts um, paper collection and it is the cutest. So my little book, um, it is six pages. I decorated front and back. I did not use my cinch it to punch the holes, but I did use the cinch it machine to bind the little rings here. It is the point, I believe 6.8 size or 6.3 or 0 0.63. And um, I just, I love the way it turned out. I use the girl face here for the cover. The little frosting lace is what I'm calling it. Um, layered there and then the bow that comes with the set and then this little bug is actually from another collection but I like the gold on it and the bug and just thought it was perfect. I the first page kind of went off to a different color but I like the paper that um, it has this um, little pattern paper here that's pink and black so I used that and a ghosty paper as you can see. So the first one I just created a little fun um, pocket style. I punched um, the scallop trim there first and then I went and cut the heart out and I was able to create the little pocket like that and then just a little cut apart the happy fright night and then this is a negative from this die that's part of my collection that I have some ghost ones. I did some fussy cutting. The boot comes I think from the same set. I want to say it's a stamp market but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the little ghosts are from the pink paper that comes in the collection and then I have this one here this is one of the cut aparts and I create a little belly band and then I put this little um, circle die there that I used or cut out that I used the circle dies and oh my gosh isn't that the cutest little ghost paper adorable and so for this guy here what I decided to do was at first I just put the ghost but I have um, been kind of cleaning and I saw these circle leftovers that were from the circle die memory decks card that Erica has in her shop. And I just thought it was perfect to slide in there as a little tuck spot. This little ghost is actually a cupcake topper. I'm sure you guys have um, seen before. Um, other people use them. I've been kind of hoarding them for a long time and use them um, for extra goodie stuff in my happy mail but this is a little ghost and I put a heat gun um, to it and it just peeled right off it did tear for me unfortunately so I had to kind of trim off that end but I just love the way it looks and this paper you guys it is so cute I love um, die cuts with the view and their Halloween last year's was really cute too I got a couple of those and hoarded them away for this one I decided to cut out a circle punch and then just kind of trimmed around it to create a tuck spot love that polka dot paper it's got like you know different colors that you probably wouldn't think like blue um the yellow it just all kind of flows while pink so cute and i use this glitter cardstock that i have in my stash forever used one of the circle dies and then i used a cut apart this little candy die i got it out aliexpress um a while ago or no last year i got it last year and then the little um, gold star actually comes from the paper in one of the cut aparts. And I did a lot of fussy cutting, as you guys can see, the candies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. This full page is the cutest little ghost on there. I don't know if you guys can see, he's on the cover here. But I decided to add a little witch hat to it. It was so cute. He's going trick-or-treating. He's got to be a witch. His little pail with the gold star, so cute. I did do some more fussy cutting on all this. I used this for my... Um, they're like nesting dies, but I can't remember if it's just a Sizzix one. I'm pretty sure I got it at Michael's. Um, and then I did more fussy cutting. And then I put the negative space of the heart over on this side and just use some pink cardstock for the base. 
I created another pocket here. This one, my whole idea was that I was gonna add foliage because this paper here has little leaves and has bones, but couldn't find something with bones on it and I didn't wanna fussy cut them out. So I ended up just doing this um, leaf dye that I had just picked up. I wanna say it's the stamp market, I'll have to check, but if it is, I'll link it in the description box. And then the little pumpkin is a die, um, not die, um, cut apart from one of the papers. Um, I just pulled it off of the sheet, it's so cute. And then this is the negative from the part over here and I just made it into the little heart that sticks in there. And this is a moth um, that comes from the paper collection that I fussy cut out. I was doing another page with it. I made another belly band. This one I'm gonna have to add another piece of paper cause it's just sliding out. So I might add another um, piece of um, another circle, maybe a little bit larger, I'm not sure. But I love this paper. It's got like gold foil. You guys can see that, it's so pretty. And the back isn't like got flowers. How cute is that? Super cute collection. And so I just created this fun little belly band there, as you can see. I didn't do a lot of decorating because it kind of gets stuck on this side. So it's kind of irritated about that. I got to figure that out. This little page, I shared it on my um, Instagram stories. Ugh, the little cats, they're so cute. They're all dressed up in little costumes. Um, so I fussy cut them out and just layered them up with some spider webs. This is just part of my collection, which I don't even know where I got that spider web from. And then it's got like this gold... Um, wording that's metallic and it's all like halloween words super cute pretty cute um halloween design for sure i keep saying that but it really is adorable see like look at the little cat paper on this one i made another tuck spot for this one and little faces just cute i used scrap diva designs um the spooky die on this one and i used the um leftover piece of some um one of the scraps that i had i just decided to use it to create that word there and i layered it up on a um, white so that it might i tried to shadow it but i didn't get it down right and just didn't want to take it apart because it was going to tear i fussy cut some of the little cats out that were part of this paper um sheet and it had these little cats going across strip but I just cut them up little circle dies and then I used a little cut apart a little candy corn kitten how cute is that pretty adorable okay now my last page I decided to put the strip vertical instead of like horizontal and I this is the scrap that I used for the um, spooky word and then I used some of the cut aparts I love that this one just slides right in behind it there and then this one is another cut apart. I did trim some top at the bottom and then added the little witch hat and it just kind of sits in there. The little character people is part of the um, paper and I fussy cut that in the house. I might add something there. I just haven't pulled out all my stickers, um, but I just, I loved this paper collection and just all the little fussy cutting that I did. Um, I think that's why it took me a little bit longer. And then this little heart um, with the moths. Oh. It is so cute. The moth's colors are just, they they match and go so well, like orange, blue, you know, purple. Like, uh, I just like it. And you don't see a lot of purple, I think, sometimes in some collections, but I like the way this looks. So I did leave some space underneath each of the moths so that people, whoever I decide to gift it, or I might sell it because I've been spending too much money on my Halloween stashes, um, there's just a lot of good stuff coming out, you guys. And these dies are so much fun to play with. So we'll see. And then the back page, I left it kind of simple. But I did use the pumpkin paper because I liked it. Um, and then I did the cut apart there with the October 31st. And I might add some ribbon, but I am not sure because it kind of is a tight fit. So we'll see. But most likely I will. I just need to find something that's... Or maybe I'll add a tassel. I think I might do that. That might be on the safer side so that it doesn't get all caught up or hard to open. But it's super cute, guys. And I'm calling it my Jackie Lantern book mini album. And then if you guys want some of these dies, head over to Erica's website. You guys know Diva, ScrapDivaDesigns.com. And she has lots of new stuff coming out um, already for Christmas. And I just, oof, my mind is spinning. I still haven't even finished some of the ones that she gave me because 
I'm all over the place, but I am working on getting those out this coming week. And I've got a lot of new projects to share with you guys. So stay tuned. And if you want to head over to her site and get um, these dies, just remember to use my discount code and Walker 10 and um, play with them and do whatever it is your heart's content, you guys. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye.